look. It's just about dusk. It's just about dusk on a, what is it, a Thursday evening and our first Peruvian apple cactus is opening. Just as when I came down for a walk, I would have missed it otherwise. And it's going to turn into a beautiful fruit. It's going to be pollinated tonight. The flower only lasts for one night. It's going to be pollinated tonight by a moth. There are plenty of Aussie moths that will do the job. And it's going to turn into a beautiful fruit or a per Peruvian apple, which is uh, comparable to a goji berry. Sweet with lots of tiny seeds in it and very delish. I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a closer look at the sexual organs of flowers, cactus flower. Peruvian apple cactus. One of its names is Sirius Peruviana. What is the other one? It's Repentus or Rependra or something. Anyway, it's got a synonym. There, I've got the torch with me. It's going to be pollinated tonight. Maiden hair. I don't think I'll get up early enough in the morning to see it still awake. Well, I think they can be hand pollinated. I think they can be hand pollinated, but I've never done that before with a cactus. I'm just going to uh, rely on the moth to do it. So exciting. Let's have a look right in there, can we? No, we can't. Isn't it lovely? It's supposed to be fragrant, but I've got hay fever, so I can't really smell properly. Oh, isn't it wonderful? So it's all very pretty, all very pretty. What can we see? So exciting anyway, so exciting. Come along moths, come and do your pollination work. Isn't it wonderful? I should like a bed lamp that shape. I'd make a nice bed lamp, that would be nice. A little handheld work, a little handheld work, but I don't know if it It'll come out because it's almost dusk, isn't it? Well, almost dark, I mean. I suppose it's going to open up even more. I suppose I could traipse down here tonight with a torch. I suppose I could. Now I'm being eaten by mosquitoes as well. Well, it's white, yes, with a pink blush. There'll be other occasions, of course. The next one up is not open yet, maybe tomorrow night. They do seem to grow very quickly. So exciting. Isn't it exciting? Isn't it lovely? That's it, show us your mouth. Open and say ah. We eat a lot of dragon fruit at our place. We like the ones with red flesh rather than white flesh, but let's hope there's a whole lot of variations. As I said, it's not a dragon fruit, it's a Peruvian apple cactus. Also, but it's similar to a dragon fruit. Isn't it lovely? 
So lucky. Aren't I blessed? Apart from the mosquitoes. I wonder how long it'll take to develop its fruit. Go on, attract some moths. I wonder if a bird would take the fruit before I got to enjoy it. I suppose that's possible. Selfie, a selfie with my apple cactus, nearly fell onto it. Peruvian apple cactus, Sirius peruviana, you know, peruvianus. I think I said at the start of this video the taste of the fruit was comparable to a goji berry. I didn't mean goji berry, I meant dragon fruit. So it's a type of cactus also called a pitaya, just as a dragon fruit is called a pitaya. Is it, open, has it, is it going to open up anymore, I wonder? I look at the petals, they're just like feathers around the edges. Aren't they lovely? It's a pity I've only got two hands. I could zoom in better and have a look at those feathery petals. Let's see if I can. Look at those petals. They're like feathers around the edges. Well, wherever you are in the world, you can grow one of these because in the Northern Hemisphere, in the coldest parts, you can still grow them indoors and put them out for the summer. Grow them indoors in a large pot put them out for the summer. Isn't it lovely? I better go back to the house, I think. That's the center of the universe. Even the kookaburras are going to sleep. It's a bit like a lotus too. Not just a poor man's goji, uh, poor man's dragon fruit, but a poor man's lotus as well in the hot dry climate. Look, a green tunnel. Insects, do your stuff. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I want to go in there and live in there forever. <laughs> 